For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Let the scriptures paint the picture as we use them as guides. To apply them to our lives and not grow wise in our own eyes, we know the demise that leads to. So what do we do? What have we done? To his word, we have paid close attention. Even with the greatest intentions, we have had to make some corrections, but only to bring us back to one true reflection. Ours. Yours. Mine. So ask one more time, who will pick them up when they fall? Who will be the most loving of them all? Who will pin wings on the backs of angels and who will straighten out crooked angles? Who will volunteer to give stars their sparkle back and teach that battle wounds are just future marks of remarkable? Go ahead and ask the same. The answer from within that ponderous frame will always be beautifully you. So today we march on. In footsteps far too large to fill, Christ's precept we follow still. And so we march. We march rhythmically to the sound of South Africa's earth-shaking drums. We march through the meditative mountains and into the earthquake-marred Nepal in hopes to help some. We dance through the rice fields with the street children of Cambodia and into the luscious island that's given the world the gift of Lumpia. Philippines and Indonesia alike, waters have risen and winds have stricken, but the smiles and spirits of those people, that's what gives us reason. Reason to brave a clinic for the poorest in La Paz, Bolivia. Reason to educate in the slums of the colorfully textured India. Reason to dance compa and eat banan fui with the orphans of Haiti or share aguacates and churros with the brilliant future of Mexico City. So we march. For 25 years, we've marched. Through 60 countries, we've marched. But this is just the start. Check your heart. Is there adventure still beating? Is there life and love and passion yet? Then arise and let's go. There are still too many needs to be met. Christ still commands to remember the poor. So how much out of your heart will you pour? I echo the melodious voices of pain and joy alike of 25 years and speak from the well of decades of captured tears. I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was a refugee on my knees and you gave me my feet. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a drowning addict and you wouldn't let me sink. I was a stranger and you invited me close. I was an orphan and you gave me my home. I was a widow and you showed me my groom. I was sick and you mended my wound. I was homeless and you helped me to cope. I was hopeless and you gave hope.